Central Indiana Muslims are condemning the recent acts of terror in Paris and San Bernardino. A Republican state senator is inviting them to share their stories along with their love and pride for the U.S. Our TV6 State House reporter Katie Hines joins us with details. Katie. Erica, State Senator Mike Delf says some of his constituents who are both pro-American and pro-Muslim have been receiving unfair, intense scrutiny in light of recent world events, and that's why he joined them to relay the message that they are part of the solution, not part of the problem. Most of us are your neighbors, your classmates, your teammates. We pay our taxes, we go to school, we raise our kids, the same as everyone else in this country. and. We just happened to read from a slightly different text. Dr. Saeed Kerry, a neurological surgeon, joins his father and another Muslim family, all naturalized U.S. citizens, to share their stories Tuesday at the State House. State Senator Mike Delf says current events compelled him to hold the forum. As a Christian conservative Republican who's represented Pike Township now for 10 years, I had somewhat of a moral obligation to introduce my friend, Dr. Haroon Kazi, his wife, Penny, and the Carey family to you all. The families are denouncing the recent acts of terror. Dr. Haroon Kazi, an Army veteran, says he's been stopped by the Department of Homeland Security every time he has flown since 9-11. This is not the way Islam preaches. These people, those who carry out these acts, are criminals and terrorists. I fully, fully and actively support the destruction of ISIS, the, the destruction of all of these things, and I want a, the Muslim community to be included in the attack on these people. Kerry says Donald Trump's proposal to ban all Muslims from entering the U.S. is something he feels is a personal attack on him and every other Muslim in this country. Erica. Uh, Katie, how does Senator Dell feel about the governor's decision to suspend the resettlement program for Syrian refugees? Well, he was asked that question today. He didn't comment today, but says that he will have more to say on that once the General Assembly returns next month. Reporting live at the State House, Katie Hines, RTV6.